Our heroes escape with bleeding internal. Let's see what they find in this new world, Inferno. Cause it's hell. This week on D D Miles. Welcome to Talking D. Wow, one of our most anticipated episodes. I am here with Gravy the Canis. Gravy, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, glad to be here. And of course, Achoom the Cat. Achoom, one of the more controversial episodes of the season so far. <laughs> Why don't you fill in the folks at <laughs> you home? You say that again, Ryan. Uh, about what happened. Thank you so much. Tell, tell them what happened. Well, so we went into a new dimension of hell. We went into a land of gold, city of gold. Everybody's super into like their side gigs. Everybody's stuck in traffic. Anyway, so we get into the city and fucking gravy, you know, gravy. <laughs> we certainly he do. Pulls a gravy. We certainly do. Hashtag the gravy train, everybody. Hashtag exactly. the gravy train. <laughs> exactly. Oh, am I like in the shot for oh, this one? I feel like normally I'm out of the frame. I'm just here and then I don't. Really do anything. Can someone just, where, where's the big cane that can pull him off? <laughs> anyway. We have a spray bottle for him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go get it. Go get it, buddy. Go get it. I'm going to throw a ball for him. Don't worry about it. Anyway, so uh, he sees he then, right? I'm his old friend ball. who's. I got it. I got to be honest. <laughs> I got the ball. Been in every single episode so far. Cat. <laughs> I got it. You're afraid of spray bottles. I'm going to throw that ball for you again and get it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And anyway, so uh, we he sees sees a guy at a Starbucks. He wants oh, to go it. inside the Starbucks. <laughs> and all right, go get that one again. And uh, so basically, it's it. I, I didn't throw it that time. He's still looking. That's very funny. No, right. he, yeah, yeah. Yes, you did. Anyway, so what you, I, <laughs> shit, you know his his space work, what is this and it's then? all audio. What does he have in his mouth then? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> This is turned Lovecraftian. <laughs> All right, I'll throw Gilgo at the tentacle. Go get the tentacle. It's my eyes. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, so then, um, sorry, get back into the Achoom voice. <gasps> wow, could you stay in character, please? <laughs> Little professionalism. Listen, Ryan Seacrest, you didn't even... <laughs> You didn't, you didn't even tell us your fucking name. I had to introduce you. I'm Ryan Seacrest. Seacrash? You should, nope. I don't know that I can say Ryan Seacrest. Like, <laughs> I don't think Ryan Seacrest is going to hear this and sue us. I just don't feel great. One, I don't feel great that Ryan Seacrest hasn't been canceled for some reason. And two, mm. I don't know that I can properly He's just represent living his dream, like Nickelback. That's true. Ryan D and D Crest. Maybe there it is. All right, all right. Go get it. <laughs> anyway, so we almost die because these fucking robot cops come out of the ground. So they uh, almost kill us because of the japes that this guy does. And um, yeah, we, we had to run away. Almost left him behind. Almost left Gravy here behind. I just want to specify that Gravy is smashing his nose into the area under Anna's hand to try <laughs> Thank to Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Well, with that summary complete, let's head back to the adventure. I curse you. <laughs> Wait, Ryan or, or Gravy? That's yes. sort of his catchphrase. I think it's just That's a thing. Just a curse. Yeah. yeah. I think it's like good night, Mrs. Crabtree, wherever you are, you know. I'm cursing. Oh, sign off. I curse you. I like that. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. yeah. I curse you. By the way, if anyone wants to buy your I curse you merch, that is up at the shop. And we, <laughs> we have I got cursed by a choom and all I got was Indeed. this t-shirt. Shirts. God, that's a great <laughs> fucking idea. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's an awesome idea for a shirt. Angelo, Angelo, we already have the art. All I need is your blessing. Your sweet, sweet Australian <laughs> blessing. As the sound of the robot cops following a closing door fades, you duck around the corner and into an alley between two buildings. As you collapse to rest and nurse your wounds, 
Rest? Did you say rest? Was it a I short rest? Did you say rest? We <laughs> Not or, a rest yet. Just relax. You well, fucking. Is it short or long? The amount it's that you, zero. you said it the is, word it rest. Said rest. Flavor the word text. Rest. It's flavor text. I might have said crest as well. This is. Uh, I will tell you when the time comes for the mechanic <laughs> of the button pushing. Damn it. I took one when you said Ryan Seacrest. Right? I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> as you collapse to rest. And nurse your wounds. Well, now you said it like that. I, I feel like no, you're telling no, us to do something. Not, not now. All right. One of the armored cyclists stops and says, Y'all, that was amazing. I haven't seen anyone stand up to the grub thugs, Will, ever. But you guys got to get underground quick because there will be more of those things sooner than you think. Where can we take a short rest? <laughs> so the driver hops down into a manhole nearby and leads you through a series of tunnels down lower and lower until you discover yourselves in a brand new city. A city below the shining city of Dis above you and much less nice and much more crowded. But at least there are people. People shopping, bargaining, making their way above ground past you or down below further into the city. Oh, are we in like Dennis Leary land from Demolition Man right now? You are in Dennis Leary. That's, That's exactly what I was inspired by. There's a hundred. I think the makers of whatever that movie we're both referencing in Demolition would really Man. not like you to call it Dennis Leary land. But <laughs> yes, it's exactly what I was going for. Thank you. So the driver turns to you and says, welcome to the pit of despair. The city beneath the city, the place where folks who can't afford to live above make their living down below. Come on, it's almost lunchtime. We are the subway rat people, everybody. I mean, not necessarily. I don't think that's a kind term. And it's it weird that hell has a downstairs, though, isn't it? It is weird. I thought that was <laughs> weird, too, when I got here. Anyways. Really sorry. It assumes a cat is just slurs about rats all the time. We're really sorry. I understand. About that. I've heard that he's really made, I would say, most of his emotional and psychosexual journey in this episode slash arc about rats and his search for them. <laughs> And Achum, while he's saying that, in the background, you see Bartholomew, the cool hell mouse. Oh my God, this fucking... Can I eat him? I'm going to try to eat him. No, he's going by on like a train that's going the other direction. Like entrapment. I'm going to flip him off. I'm, I'm going to... Wait, I'm going to curse him. Wait one second. I'm going to try to curse him. You know what you can do. You can make a you, dexterity ooh. check ooh. and see if you catch him. And that's it. It's <gasps> all you can do. Only a dexterity. I can't use magic. Dexterity. That's it. So you, all you've got. He's passing by on a train as they're saying this. God damn it! That's a four. You miss. He bitch slaps you in the oh, face as he goes by terrible. on the train. <laughs> <laughs> Check out your Bartholomew merch at BartholomewMerch.com, <laughs> and he's gone. I'm gonna curse him so fucking hard next time I see him. Anyways, you follow him through tents and trash built houses and cities to a small hovel on an inconspicuous street where he ushers you inside. Pretty sweet, huh? Just uh, 45,000 bucks a month, but I get cash back <laughs> rewards through Depto, so it's closer to 44,999. Uh, sweet. I'm actually curious. Depto? What is Detto. That's clearly something, but I'm not mm -hmm. getting it. That's actually my question. <laughs> So Detto is one of the many debt collection agencies that exist here in Dis, and it's great because if you run your rent through them, you actually get cash back rewards. So you can take out credit towards the place you live. That's great, right? Isn't that a great idea that would everyone would agree is an awesome way to spend your money like, and your time? It's going to create a spiral of debt and then it's bad. No, towards my livelihood and the place where I literally live. What could possibly go wrong with a system like that? Wow. <laughs> It's tried and true. I can't. I don't. I don't really know the math of why I'm uh, wrong, but it feels like I'm. I don't know. I don't know. Gut feeling, right? It's one of those things where you're like, I feel like this would already exist as part of the system if it was a good idea, but here we are. And anyways, it's great. I feel as though this whole city might be one giant. Oh gosh, what's the word? Bubble that might burst. <laughs> 
any second now. Yeah, like economically, right? Economically, Yeah, yes. one might say that's, that that's, this this particular layer of hell is at a late stage. <laughs> <laughs> late stage ratitalism. Mm, I don't Why? think that worked. There are <laughs> rats. There's top with the rat. There was one rat. He's just a callback. God damn it. I love that I said one thing about them being rat people. And, in now, the it's and, and now, now it's forever. And now it's Everybody's been a rat. All the goblins look like rats. A rat. Wait, so everybody around us, to be clear, is not a rat? No, uh, all different races and peoples, some devils. So there are some rats. So some, yeah. Yeah, but, but Heath, you know. You know. <laughs> okay, now it is feels like a slur thing. Is that an anti-Semitic thing? thing? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It definitely <laughs> feels like, like a... Is, is a chimp yeah. putting on a pickle helmet? What the fuck is going <laughs> oh, on? Oh, God. <laughs> I was just trying to go against Eli. It's okay. Anna had to go to a Hanukkah celebration at my son's school. She was freaked out by the whole thing. I get it. I have been nailing Hanukkah this year. You did so good at Hanukkah this year. I did okay. Spun the shit out of that trailer. Anyways, as you're talking, because you had no (laughs) questions, a grubby television (laughs) dropped in the corner of the room fizzles to magical light. And the driver waves his hand at you all and says, shh, 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 it's starting, it's starting. On TV you see a blue lit television set. And on it, in a suit made of pure gold, is the handsomest devil you've ever seen. Slicked back horns, dark ruby skin, and perfect bright white teeth. And he says, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dispater, the Lord of Dis, and welcome once again to Who Wants to Be a Bajillionaire? Let's meet this week's contestants. They're a dwarven family whose love of a magical ruby turned it into a quintuple homicide. Let's meet the Fizzbangs. Fizzbangs, welcome to the show. And then, with a pop, the TV turns off. And the driver runs over to the screen and pounds on it a bit with his fist saying, Ah, stupid power outages. That looked like it was going to be a great episode. Uh, Who does want to be a bajillionaire? Do you know or do they tell you that at the end? (laughs) I mean... You guys have heard of who wants to be a bajillionaire, haven't you? No. No. I don't even, I'm not even familiar with that numeral. (laughs) It's only the most popular and only television show on this. Contestants go through a series of challenges in the hopes of winning a bajillion dollars plus entry to the bajillionaires club on the one millionth floor of the Tower of Despiter. And it's going to be like Slumdog Millionaire where we like have the answers and we didn't know it. Until we got the questions, right? We better hope. (laughs) (laughs) Also, we don't like the term (laughs) slumdog. Wow, y'all would really want to try for the bajillion? I mean, sign up is at the Tower of Despater. Hmm, how could we get there without having the, um... Preferably with a long rest between us and, Mm. and there. Oh, yeah. No, you guys can absolutely take a long rest here. Go ahead and sleep the night through. Oh, hell yeah. In fact, before you do, and then he pulls a big lever and you see like a giant pile of cliff bars and (laughs) Nutri-Grain bars and stuff just come pouring through the ceiling. And he goes, left over from the commissary at the buildings above. Uh, Help yourselves. Now you may all have a long rest. Ah. Left over from the commissaries Long above. Rest. Mm-hmm. Do you have IQ bars? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of IQ really bars. Like they those. never eat them because they taste horrible. Yeah, those things taste like ass. No, they taste great. That doesn't nope, make sense. They what you said. They Here, go, hey, good. Gravy, taste one. I, I've had them many times before. Gravy, right, I don't taste want them. one right now. No, you're in my, dun- you're in oh, my dungeon master world. I have decided a word. You're a talking dog, and I'm going to need you to roll for flavor. All right, let me get a blueberry <laughs> lemon. Okay, here's a blueberry lemon. Roll a d20. <laughs> Ethan, right? Roll a d20. I'm rolling for flavor. Roll a d20. 16. Fuck, Pretty it good. tastes good. Shit, it tastes <laughs> good. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> really hoping to lash out at IQ bars. They're fine. <laughs> you know, you used to have lion's mane in them. Lion's mane makes your brain work better, actually. If it makes the <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> better? I do. Mushrooms? It's a, yeah, it's a, it's a type of mushroom. <laughs> Joe Rogan thinks it's true, so it's probably not. (laughs) That's how I make most of my truth claim evaluations. Not the best method, but it works sometimes. It's one of the best methods, though, let's be honest. Thank you, Vardos the Chase. (laughs) All right, so you guys get a good night's sleep. You eat some Cliff slash IQ bars. Thank you. And the driver offers to lead you to the surface. 
Yeah, can we ask him a little bit about the the host? Yeah, absolutely. What do y'all want to mm. know about Despater, the king of diss? Did you say he had ruby skin? I, I mean, the narrator did, but yep, he's got yeah. ruby skin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is, he, uh, is he single? <laughs> oh, I wish. Yes, he is single. I don't want to invent a creature that he's dating. Yes, he's single. <laughs> So has anybody won a bajillion dollars? I mean, they must have, right? There's a bajillionaires club and they wouldn't have the contest if nobody ever won it. Now, I haven't mm. been here for that long and I've only watched a couple hundred episodes and I've never seen anybody win. But that's because the challenges are super tough. I mean, only the best try to beat them. Mm. What kind of challenges? Well, they're different every week. Sometimes it's a combat challenge. Sometimes it's a puzzle. The only thing the challenges have in common is their difficult and deadly nature. Plus, the lifelines, of course. Lifelines. Is it deadly nature? Mm-hmm, deadly. So people die in the show? <laughs> of course. Why else would you risk it for a bajillion dollars? But in hell, people still die? Oh, my God. We know, we've, we, we've been we went over this. Go, you can die. You down <laughs> if you die level-wise. I feel like you go up. No, you don't go anywhere. You just die. That's We, we went over this. You already went over what happens. <laughs> you can next die in hell. big journey. I'm going to ask this at every level. I just want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get on the show? What's it called again? The sign-up is right at the Tower of Despater. Follow me. But hey, before you guys go, mm. and he pulls out of his pocket a small golden coin. And he says to you, this is the most precious object I own. It's, a, it's just a dollar, but it's not digital and it's not store credit. It's not a dollar with $200 worth of purchases. It's just an actual real dollar. And I, I got it as a tip on Christmas about mm, 400 years ago. It's weird that they celebrate Christmas in hell. It's, you know what? Everyone, a real heavy Christian, because so are we here on D&D Minus. &D yeah, it's weird that you're also pegged to the American dollar in terms of currency here. Well, you know, we elected this guy on Facebook and it really is gonna, it's going <laughs> super sure. fucking bad no, for I us. It. It's going to be fine. I think it's going to work out. I actually don't get it. I don't know why I said that. I have no idea. I sure hope that's not like a genocide call forward because oh, there's God. some good chance it is. <laughs> I have a quick question for the Dungeon Master. Hello. I have those golden dulcimer <laughs> hammers. Yes. D can I passively like know if they are actually worth any value here? I mean, you can certainly try to trade them to someone for something if uh, okay. the time comes. Is this, go is this thing that he gave? The coin he gave us was gold, right? Yeah, it's just a single gold coin. Okay. And I'm assuming that's the same shade as the dulcimer hammers? Yeah. Okay. Why would you give us the most prized possession of yours. Well, I saw you guys stand up to the grub thugs and I've never seen anyone do that before. So, I don't know. Might come in useful someday. Oh yeah, this bubble's about to pop. We did also run away. So, I mean, you've probably seen people run away too, right? Well, you know, sometimes standing up to bullies is brave even when you don't win. Hmm. Is it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't question the truisms of the unnamed NPC. What the fuck are you doing? Penny saved is a penny earned. Follow me. So you make your way through the sewers and underground tunnels of dis to the cool, clean air of the surface. And you have no problem making your way to the Tower of Despater as it seems that every road in the city leads to its giant glowing shape. At the front of the building, you were pleased to see that the line to get in is mercifully empty with only a bored bouncer with a clipboard and a Britney mic guarding your way in. When you finally approach, she says, Let me guess, you just can't take it anymore and you're here to sign up for who wants to be a bajillionaire. That actually is exactly what we're doing. Okay, so my immortal worked last time on the doorman. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do my immortal again. Whip out that dulcimer, baby. Oh, I think, uh, how did I do it last time? I did it like as just an actor, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you did it as an actor check. But before you roll that dice, you open your mouth to speak and he goes, wait, 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 wait. I can tell you're about to do a bit or something. <laughs> um, what do you want? Have any communications <laughs> with me. <laughs> just anything you want. What do you want? Who am I? That's a good start, right? <laughs> Where are you? Who are, Who are you? you? We're here to try out. 
oh, all right. Well, you know what? You're actually allowed to do that here. I do not need to be convinced to do it. I just need to check a few things. And the devil pulls a small scroll that you've seen Carl pull from the air and checks your credentials. My paw comes out and I just slowly lower the loot back into Morgan's pocket. <laughs> Let's see here. All right. Crime agreed. Oh, wow. A reanimation spear for a kid. You guys do belong here. All right. You're good to go. Head on into hair and makeup. That, that was pretty easy. All right. Okay. I think I actually have a makeup kit, too. Ooh, there you go. So I can do my own. Ooh. As you pass through the automatic doors of the Tower of Dispater, the quiet and calm of the world outside the tower disappears. And you are suddenly awash in noise. Lights are being hung. Cameras are being moved into place. And you are surrounded by a massive ocean of makeup artists, healers, and costumers who primp and pomp you to a shining gleam, not a hair out of place, in what seems like seconds. Which hat should I use? Should I use this one? Should I use the little, little feathered? Wait, wait, wait. Before we move past that, I do have a disguise kit. Do we want to... Right? <laughs> we just We're allowed to be here. <laughs> My paw comes out and I slowly lower your... <laughs> <laughs> we just got dressed up, man. We just got dressed up. But I'm thinking, do we want to, like, present ourselves in a different way than we are to win the Save contest? Save it for if we need to sneak out of here on the down low. Yeah, right. Well, I can't use the disguise kit, like, on camera, though. Like, if we needed to sneak out. We could find a way off camera if we needed to. <laughs> Okay, I think we should disguise, but <laughs> moving I feel like on. we're already through makeup. I feel like if we if we were going to disguise, we'd have had to... Well, we're through makeup because Eli said it in one quick run-on sentence, but... <laughs> <laughs> if you want to describe what you're going to do on the way into makeup to wear a disguise, I'll let you roll I for it. I love the idea of a makeup artist just doing over Morgan completely and everything that happens, he like draws over it again with like a black thing. Right, right puts on a fucking mustache. No, like I'm trying to think like, if, so if we're going to compete on the contest, Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to think if there's a way of giving us an advantage by, you know, because they're just going to do whatever different. they've done. <laughs> yeah, 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 because they're just going to do whatever they've done to the other contestants. Regis is going to be like, hold on. You look different than the picture coming out of makeup. One second. You're not the person I had before. <laughs> here's a bajillion dollars. You're allowed to leave. But first, here's the key to the city. <laughs> uh, fine. Whatever. <laughs> All right. And in seconds... You are standing on a TV set with what feels like thousands of cameras pointed at you. A devil with all white skin and horns steps in front of the camera and whispers, and we're on in five, four, three, two, one. And boom, every light in the place explodes into focus on you. A voice that seems loud enough to be heard throughout the entire city says, Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host with the most, the king of dis himself, Dis Spader. And I'm I'm pretty sure you I put on dress. a disguise. What the fuck, man? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could have dressed up as Dis Spader and you acted like him. The, the king of hell. I absolutely could have. Okay, you know what, Morgan? Fucking ro it. roll for it. Roll for it. I would love for you to roll for this right now. What outfit are you rolling for? Just to be clear. Well, I was going to do the seen him. ruby skin. No, we saw him the... on the TV. We saw him on yeah, the TV. Oh, really? sure, sure, sure. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. What do you want me to roll? Oh, just a, just a, uh, what is it? A disguise check, right? Isn't that a, one of the things? Then nope. Deception. Deception check, maybe? Deception, yes. Or performance? No, it wouldn't be. De um, yeah, it would be deception. Okay. 22. 22. Yep, you are dressed as Dispater, but you're not his height and you don't look like him. <laughs> I'm going to do a performance as Dispater. I'm going to act like him while he's acting. You're going to walk out and start hosting the show. You're yeah. going to Great, taunt. Go ahead. Okay. You're going to taunt the like 24. lord of this thing? I'm going to dress Jesus I'm going to dress like Christ. Eli and then yeah, become the and dungeon master. Now you're master. the dungeon master. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> More, Momo, you don't need to roll the dice. You look like a little mini me of Dispater. This is all you Boo. You go ahead. What do you walk up to the thousands of cameras I've described and say? Wait, wait. You're rolling really good. Deceive the king of hell into thinking he's on our team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, what I'm going to say is these three have already won. And I'm going to point to you guys. And I'm going to be like, they're going to go on already. They We did it off air. They already won the bajillion dollars. 
And there's a pause, and you hear one guy from the studio audience go, What? <laughs> And I'm going to be like, that guy's an imposter. And I'm going to point at Dispater. And then another lady from like a different <laughs> side of the audience goes, No, I'm sorry. Why did you say? <laughs> <laughs> you already did the game show without us, the audience? Yep. <laughs> Why would you do that? Because they were that good. <laughs> uh, roll a deception check for me for that line. <laughs> 22. Yeah, no, that's Fuck not going to yes. do it. Psh, not going to do it. I'm sorry. No, 22, <laughs> not going to do it because you're like, hey, physical reality is the opposite <laughs> of what it is. And as you're telling this lie. There needs to be a gaslight check that's like different. <laughs> <laughs> that is a performance that. check, Eve. Okay. I feel like my disguise kit involves heels and I was tall enough, but it's fine. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get a full, it's not a drag kit. It's just a disguise <laughs> kit. But as you're telling this lie, shimmering into focus next to you is, in fact, Dispater. And as you look at him live in person, everything about him screams wealth. From his custom-tailored golden suit to his perfect cherry red skin, there's not a hair out of place or a speck that makes him look anything other than perfectly washed, groomed, and managed. Even his horns naturally grow slicked back on his head to maintain his perfect quaff. And he says, ha, 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 how about that? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. Wow. I haven't seen a contestant try something like that since the Smithersons killed themselves the instant they appeared on camera. Well, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've got a once in a lifetime show for you this evening because we're pleased to announce this week's contestants are something really special. A motley band of thieves for whom a job went horribly wrong and you hear the audience go, boom. Double burns. And now Fuck find em. themselves tra traveling through the <laughs> layers of hell hoping to find a way home. Well, they'll need all the luck they can get because now they're on Who Wants to Be a Bajillionaire? And the theme music blasts all around you as the audience roars with applause and approval and the guy from the back goes, This makes a lot more sense than what that guy is describing. <laughs> I don't know why I bought that. That's on me. It's like someone rolled really well. <laughs> yeah, man. I was confused too. This does make a lot. More. I get we're in the Did show. Did you now, right? believe it? Did you think it I, was true? No, I had no idea what he was doing. He does have a gold suit though, which is nice. He does. It's a fun little mini me thing. It's very I want small. them to do a, right. it's not a the same music size. number. It's very obvious what was happening, right? They should do a music number. Yeah. I'm gonna cast Mage Hand and slap that guy in the audience. Oh wow. <laughs> You're technically not allowed to attack with a mage hand, but I'm going to allow it this time. It's a once and only opportunity. He's informative. <laughs> you look... Oh, actually, Morgan, make an investigation check for me. Okay. Ooh, not good. Five. Five. Okay. Uh, then you don't get to know what happens, but here's what I will say happens. All right? <laughs> you hear, I got you, man. <laughs> what? That's it. That rat's going to fuck that guy up. That's it. That's what's going to happen. All right. So, Dispater starts to speak again. Now, you folks at home know the game, but I have a hunch that our contestants don't. So, here's what's on the program. You're going to face three challenges. A test of wits, a test of battle, and a test of spirit. And based on the fact that you're here, I imagine you're going to fail at all three. But worry not, because you've got three golden lifelines. 50-50, phone a friend, and of course everyone's favorite, and the audience all says this at the same time, ask the audience! That's right. Cool. And as he lists those lifelines, each of you see three glowing lines of gold appear around your arms. Mm. So, if there are no further questions, and don't worry, there can't be, are you ready to start your very first challenge? I just want to be clear, do we have... 12 lifelines between us or three? You have three. They'll disappear from all your arms when one of you uses them. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like that thing in season one where we met that guy in a bar and he's like, there are three tests. A thing of wits, a thing of battle, and a thing of other thing. Oh, look at this. Actually, uh, Dispater says, fuck you, Morgan. That's crazy. <laughs> one of the lifelines disappears and it's just a middle finger tattooed on your forearm now. <laughs> Bring this puppy on. 
Anyways, with Dispater's words, you hear a giant boom. And the largest set of scales you have ever seen slams into the arena in front of you. And then, in a far less impressive manner, a smattering of small circular creatures about the size of a choom plop onto the studio floor all around you. Dispater has disappeared, but his voice booms around you and says, Let's play Clonk the Coins! There are 12 of these bitey little shekels spread around the arena, but one and only one is slightly heavier than the others. Undetectable to the hand, eye, or magic, you'll need to discover which one is the Porky Pounder using our massive set of economic justifications. But be careful, this colicky coinage has sharp teeth, so try not to get Bitcoin. <laughs> And with that, a bell rings and the 12 coins spring to their feet and scamper towards you with teeth and claws bared. Everybody, roll initiative for me. Ooh. Oh, yeah. All right. Let me send you guys some maps because it is, of oh. course, oh, yeah. the maps. time for maps. A time for maps. A time for maps. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Time to summon frogs. So many frogs. All right, frogs. give me those initiative rolls. 12. Mine was also 12. Six. I think I had a three or a four, whatever. It was last. Okay, so here's the puzzle. I will explain it again in a non-flavor text section. There are 12 coins around the map. You can see them. One of them is heavier than the others in a way that is undetectable by hand, sight, or magic, right? So there's nothing you can physically do as a character to tell which one's the heavier one. You need to use these giant scales to see which one is the heaviest one. And if you'd like to make an investigation check about anything, the scales, the arena, anything like that, you certainly may do so on your turn. I also have a question about yeah. the coins. Are they sentient? They are. They, they just stood up and ran at you with their teeth bared. So you have a, you right. have a feeling they're sentient. Okay, and they're numbered 1 through 12 just so we can keep track. They're numbered 1 through 12 so you can keep track, correct. So, sorry, how big are these guys? They're about the size of a choom. So, a cat-sized. House cat-sized, yeah. Okay. All right, so if we get, like, you know, six of them in one scale part and six in the other scale part, we'll know which one has the heavier one, and then we can narrow it down right. to half. Split that and, and split that. And then you can that. keep doing mm -hmm. it half, 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 right? Right. Mm -hmm. So we can get it down to six and then down to three and then with three, three, three. Yeah. So like, I feel like this process gets us. No, we just have to, yeah. Uh, yeah, we just have to weigh the three separately. Yeah. We, we could even just capture three and three and then we would know whether the six we didn't capture were one of the heavy ones. So that could save some, right? Like we sure, wouldn't have to sure. Sure. It would save us from capturing all 12 right away. Oh, good call. Good call. Yeah. All right. Achoom, you are up first. Okay, what did you just say, Gravy? Because I was, <laughs> I, was uh, <laughs> I was sleeping with my eyes open. How does it feel, Heath? How does it feel? I, uh, <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. I, I sleep with my eyes open sometimes. People think I'm awake and That's listening. Terrifying. That's terrifying. That's absolutely terrifying. Well, let's circle back to that later. But for now, I had, I had said that if we just, let's say we get six of these coins, put three mm -hmm. in each dish, then we'll know... If they weigh the same, then the six we didn't get has the heavy three one. Three at a time. We're trying to go three at a time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sure. We're not just going to try to do one at a time per person on each turn. All right. I feel like that'll take longer. Also, not how scales work. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing that out there. That's not. What, what would that be? You just throw a coin on a scale. That side of the scale would go down and you'd be like, fuck yeah, we did it, everybody. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if there's a way for me to stun all of them at the same time. Yeah, who's got who's got like a magic? Yeah, that's perfect. Like a magic thing to collect stuff. Does anybody have any Ooh. magnet stuff? <gasps> I could make some mischief. That doesn't feel <laughs> like it doesn't. What? I might make some mischief. Somebody in the audience is like, what? 
don't understand what that means. Yeah, me neither. Mischief. How would how would mischief collect coins? I don't understand either. I'm sensing a real connection with the dog. Does anyone else notice me? This dog are really getting it. Thank you. I feel the same thing, bro. We should hang out totally. after. Don't empathize with the audience. Don't do it. Classic that. dog people. Don't do this. Let's hang out after. I totally agree. Like you know how you say that sometimes and you don't mean it. I actually mean it right now. I actually mean it too. Nice. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Why are you in hell? I don't know. Why are you in hell? Child molestation. Oh. <laughs> of, a, of a person? I want you to tell me. <laughs> I want you to tell me. <laughs> what the He's only going to be pissed off if it was of a puppy. I don't know why I asked that just now. That was a weird question. We're still talking, right? The podcast is over. I just need you. The rest of it is just you explaining what information you were trying to get with that question. If if you had said no on an inanimate object, and then I would have been like, oh, okay, that's not as bad, right? Inanimate objects can't be kids, man. That's a silly question. you can molest things that aren't kids. I feel like you're ascribing <laughs> that verb to only kid. I was hoping it wouldn't be a, a, a kid. I love it. What do you molest that isn't a kid? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> we should stop yelling this conversation. We should. Yeah, no, thing. I think we've reached yeah. its peak. Don't worry. Okay. Achoom, what are you doing? All right. Sorry. I just woke up again. I was sleeping. Sorry about that. Uh, so I am going to cast for the second time this game. I'm going to cast Nether's Mischief. Ooh. You've already read this spell description. It's it's only been a couple of episodes. Yes, I have. But this is a D4. And why don't you remind... You'll roll the dice and then you'll tell us what happens based on that dice. How's that sound? All right. That sounds lovely. All right. I'm going to D4. There it is. That's exactly what happened last time. Ooh, all right. <laughs> all right. So I rolled a three, which means... Oh, that's not exactly what happened last time. Cool. All right. This is great. Each creature in the cube of the spell. How big is that cube? It's a 20 foot cube. Okay. Within 60 feet of me. So, oh, fuck. They're all over the place. I thought they were running toward us. Did they run toward us? This is them running towards you. Wow. One of of them just moved a slight. A second one just moved a little bit. A third Uh, one. I'm just putting them so they're in squares. Yeah. Don't take it away from that one. I've had to edit so much things we're doing on the maps. These coins are really big. They have a five foot diameter. So to the three that are grouped together over on my right hand side, I am going to close my eyes and do a little with my hands. And each creature in that cube must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or begin giggling until the start of my next turn. A giggling creature is incapacitated and uses its whole movement to move in random directions. Ooh, all right. So it's gonna, th- these three coins are going to get a fit of the giggles unless they can resist. What do they need to roll for the wisdom saving throw? 14. 14. So that's your save DC. So they need to hit a 14. Coin number one, that's a miss. Coin number two, that is also a miss. And that's coin number three. All right, so these three coins that you see off to your right fall down in a fit of giggles. Oh, delightful. Boom. Mm, Giggly. All right, three coins, a giggling. Uh, Moves, bonus actions, anything. I don't have any bonus actions. I'm probably, I'm going to try to, I guess, get closer to some other ones. All right. Well done. Vardos, you are up next. I guess so. I can't do anything useful here. If you can move, you could round them all up. Hey, Noah, do you do you want to delay until after me? And hopefully I will have incapacitated a bunch and then we can scoop them up. And Oh, yeah. No, that's a good call. Yeah, I'm going to delay until after Morgan. All right. Uh, remind me not to forget your turn. Don't forget my turn. The <laughs> coins are up. All at once? Yes, all at once. Fuck no. Yeah, so they're all going to come at you. Why did I run out into the fray? <laughs> Why did I do that? All right, Achoom, one of these coins, they all come scampering towards you, but one of them 
makes it over to you, Achum, and he is going to take a big old chomp at you. <laughs> that is going to be a 18. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. That will do nine damage, and he is chomped onto your leg and holding tight, Achum. God damn it. All right. That is the coin's turn. Ow! <laughs> Damien, you are up. Okay. So I have a 120 foot cube spell, mm-hmm. and I am Ooh. using this ruler, and it looks like it covers the entire arena. It sure does. It covers the entire. Is it 120 cubic feet or 120 cubes? That's, that's why I was going to ask because, I mean, it's got to be 120 by 120. Yeah, it's yeah 120, by 120 by 120. Three times. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's be no third dimension in the game, technically. There's not? No, that's. Good. I feel like there's height. Yeah, there, I feel like there, there is, is sure. but you can't. But it's not in the mechanics of the game, right? Okay. Because if you could, you'd just be like, I cast my fireball above my head, so it doesn't hurt me, but like at exactly the eye level of the enemy. We, we, we did that a lot last season. I know, and that's why I started. You know, <laughs> okay. And everybody yelled at Eli, <laughs> and everybody was like, "Hey, man, the game is broken," and I was like, "You're broken. I'm just teaching you." Fuck why you. don't they say square instead of cube then? Yeah. Heath, I'm telling you, when podcasting doesn't work out for us, you're going to have a future as a dungeon. As a, as a dragon. Curmudgeon. Yeah. Oh. And dragons. <laughs> pedant. Ped, ped, pedant. Pedant. Anyway. Pedophile. Am I right? You, you said. What? You said that earlier. He did. Okay. So, so yeah, that'll cover all these coins. So, am I? I'm still dressed as the dispater, right? You are. And do I have the gold suit? Because I don't. What was he wearing on TV when we saw him? The gold suit. Gold suit. Yeah. You have a bespoke, beautifully tailored gold suit, but yeah, very you look well. like a mini me. Yeah. I have a like put together with a disguise kit gold suit. So yeah. it's like if you get up close, it's like that's not real gold. Yeah, it but, looks like garbage. Yeah. But from afar, it looks gold. So I'm going to pull out my dulcimer and my golden dulcimer hammers. And I'm going to sing, stay with me and fall asleep. Pray to God for no bad dreams. I'm still waiting here, my dear, for one kiss from you to kill all of you. And I'm going to cast. Does you rhyme with you in that song? Yeah. Well, I skipped a line because it was annoying. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can't read all the lines. Thank of the song. you. <laughs> Dozens of seconds. Stop questioning Morgan's process. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to cast Hypnotic Pattern. You create a twisting pattern of colors that weaves through the air. Pattern appears for a moment and vanishes. Each creature in the area, which is a 120-foot cube, who sees the pattern must make a wisdom saving throw, DC 15. On a failed save, the creature becomes charmed for the duration. The duration is concentration up to one minute. While charmed by this spell, the creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. All right, let me roll these nine dice. And sorry, what do they need to hit? Wisdom 15. Okay. While this is happening, I inch up to the front of the stage just in (laughs) case that helps slightly with my ability to run to something. Oh, actually, I need to move to do this with the 120 foot. Because I can, I can get everybody. <gasps> really? Yeah. Okay. Of that, one, two, three of them beat a 15. Damn it. I'll say the one biting a chum made it, and then two others, and then all of the other ones are now hypnotized is the, is the thing, right? Incapacitated, speed of zero. Incapacitated. All right. We're going to give them pink borders. I believe they're charmed. I don't know if that's different to incapacitated. Actually, I think it's both. Yeah, charmed for concentration up to one minute. Dope. All right, so all but three of these coins are in some form of unconsciousness slash dumbfoundery, which I believe now, Vardos, your turn is up. All right, I am going to run, I guess we've got enough of them down to like toss three of them in each thing, right? Like three and three, like mm-hmm. like uh, Gravy was suggesting. Mm-hmm. So, but I could only do like in my turn, I could only like if I ran over to my right, grabbed the closest one and chucked him into the thing, like that's my whole turn, right? Yeah. So, to prevent that boringness, which would not be entertaining or fun for anybody listening, 
What I'm going to let you do is I'm going to let you pick a straight path that is your speed. And then you're going to make a strength saving throw at the end of it. And depending on how well you roll, that's how many of the coins you'll manage to throw onto the scales. Oh, sweet. Will the DM allow a dash to double that up and a throw? Yeah, I'll allow a dash. Absolutely. And you can hit four. Yeah. Great. You're going to run past four coins. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it super simple for you. You're going to roll a strength check, not a saving throw. Sorry. You're going to roll a strength check for me. And for every five, every number above five you get, you will... God, that's stupid. How do I say these words? <laughs> for every five you get... You're going to do the math. You know what I mean. Yeah, 20 five would get all of them. Five, you throw one. Yeah. Ten, yeah, 20, all of them. Ten. Yeah. Tell me how to say that. <laughs> you could make it a D4, man. <laughs> 19. 19. You can Ooh. make it a D4 man. How dare, first of all, how dare you? Second of all, <laughs> I'm going to say you throw three of them. Frame it. This last guy that you're next to is well, 3.8 of them, right? Yeah, exactly. He Round manages up. to hold on to you. <laughs> Nailed it. Vardos, that is your turn. Okay, Gravy, you are up. All right, so I can do the same thing. I can do a dash and grab as many as I pass through. Correct. All right, let, uh, me, do a, uh, let me do a little uh, ruler uh, thingy. Uh. Looks like you get two. I think I can get two at most, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you going to give me like the benefit of the doubt that like within a couple of feet I get two? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, all right. Uh, I think that's the most efficient thing I can do. Then I'll try to incapacitate them again. I was so I'm, I was thinking about the thing we're doing. If we can get four in each one, we can kind of do a pretty good solution too. Yeah, mm -hmm. then it's split, split, split. Yeah, power of two. Oh, I also can do one time per short rest, just take an additional action on my turn. So I could dash Ooh. twice and maybe get four. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll, I'll allow a double. I'll You'll double allow a double dash? A double dash. Huh? Right. All right. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Toys yeah. R Us. They had a machine. Classic. All right. That was the best part of our lives there. Nice. So I'm going to do that machine. Ibaz, e e if you're with me on this, I'm going to do a... Eat a big salad. Uh, how do I select nothing again? What did you guys do? I don't know who these jokes are for. Select the hand again. I got the hand. Or just whatever whatever yeah. you have. Is right. Select yeah, the yeah, hand. Right. So, yeah. so using your... What is it called? Second wind? Oh, uh, no. It's called action surge. Ah, so using your action surge, you managed to dash past four of these bad boys. You know how it works. Give me a strength check, 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 check. You could do a D4 if you wanted. You want no, you can't. You have to do a D20. Because you got the strength bonus. Yeah. That does help. That's a 25. That is a 25. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Somehow he manages to throw five of them. In. You don't want to throw four of them in. Yeah, I, you? I throw the number seven in there on the way just by looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> he quails at your glare and goes in. But you probably only want to throw three, right? Otherwise, we still have another step on this before we can. I'm thinking four and four is a pretty efficient strategy in my head. Okay. But if Shum doesn't get this, it might be probably. Oh, I'm going to. Fucking get it. <laughs> All right. Fucking get it. Four coins go plopping into the far scale. And of course, the four coins sink low while the three coins raise up high. And they're all still stunned. Sure. All right. Wait, wait. Do we get to see what happens before I threw the, 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 the last of the four in there? No. Why not? Because I'm not smart enough to do that. And you know it. And it's <laughs> bullying. <laughs> It's just straight okay, up this bullying still works, for you I to think, ask in, me. As, Thank as, you. Like, I've kind of like vaguely reasoned this out in my head. And I think if we get four and four, there's a thing we can do. <laughs> All right. Achum, you are up. Okay, good. All right. I would like. Okay. Will he get an attack of opportunity if I drag him into the thing? <sighs> I don't think so. It's only if you disengage him, right? Yeah, don't disengage. Just like uh, you jump yeah. in. Yeah, I'm not going to disengage This is him. an engagement, yeah. And then get out. I am engaging him into the thing. I would think you do the thing. You know how cats will like, they'll, they'll roll you over the top exactly. of them. That's and I like, and he is my size. So I'm just yeah, going to exactly, fucking, right. I would like to sumo wrestle, lift him up <laughs> and yori kiri him into the fucking thing. Yes, well, thanks to last season's grand finale, I am aware exactly of the Dungeons & Dragons rules 
when it comes to throwing versus dragging. Uh, you are only five <laughs> feet away, so you can absolutely do this. Uh, you're going to make a contested strength check with this coin. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Here's the good news. He's not particularly strong. Okay. Because he's a coin. I am a cat. <laughs> I am also not particularly strong. That is a seven. That is an 11. That is an 11. The entire arena goes silent. as All of a sudden, there's a weird (laughs) wrestle between a cat and a... It's fucking adorable, honestly. It's just absolutely... There are bunny kicks galore. I'm bunny kicking the shit out of it. Adorable. But now there are four coins on the side of each scale. And the side of the scale closest to you and Damien, the one that's sort of at the beginning of the thing... That sinks lower <gasps> than the other four. And the four that have been raised into the air disappear. Ooh. So we got to get two of those over two to the other side. Two of those guys into the other one. Yeah. Well, fucking off with the other two. But one of them isn't stunned anymore. Okay, I like that the four disappeared because we didn't know where the one was yeah. <laughs> until yeah. Eli was like, those disappear, it's not those. <laughs> 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 I mean, I was well, listening no, the to one where that sinks it, no, lower. The ones, tells yeah, you yeah, that no, one yeah. yeah, I was like, "Shit, did I fuck up my puzzle? <laughs> Why would you make me doubt myself, Heath? <laughs> Gaslighter, dumb." All right, am I allowed to move? No, you fucking used your action to throw that coin. Yeah, you get an but action. Can you movement. use an action and move? Yeah, you can move. Yeah, I can move, guys. I can move. You know what? Actually, I'm good. <laughs> no, I, I, you know, I am going to move. I'm going to move. Hey, I can move. I'm fine. I can move. I'm going to move. I'm going to move. Wait for it. I'm going to move. Let's see. Ten. Twenty. This is so like a cat. 30. Are you coming in? Or are you coming in or, in or going, going out? Going what are, in are in you doing? Jesus. I'm going to use feline agility. And when, uh, which means when I move on my turn in combat, I can double my speed until the end of my turn. Once used, I can't use this trait again until I move zero feet on one of my my other turns. Nice. So you need to sprawl in a sunbeam a little bit next turn. Exactly. (laughs) All right. Vardas, you are up. I'm going to whack this asshole with my mace for for not uh, conforming to the rules of D&D minus. Excellent. (laughs) Hit him. All right. 16. 16. Yep. That'll hit. And you don't even need to roll damage. The second your mace touches the top of this coin's head, he just flops forward unconscious. All right. Well, I'm probably going to spin around a couple of times by accident then because I probably put way too much into it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just pong, pong, pong. <laughs> now, you do have another attack and your movement left. So, up to you. Right, right. So, I can move, what, 30 feet? hmm So, I'm going to get close to over here, but I'm not going to be able to actually get there. Would you like to drag that coin with you? No, I have no need to drag it. So it's one of these four. We, we've got it narrowed down. To be clear, the, the one that's different is definitely heavier or it's heavier. lighter? Yes. No, he's heavier. Oh, definitely heavier. Okay, all right. Got it. Yeah, yeah. And is the, is the goal to just incapa- or kill that one or like to grab it and take it to Dispater? I believe it is uh, find the heavy coin is the thing that he said. Okay. So once we touch it, it's over? Not touch it. You have to be like, this is the one. Okay. Otherwise, you could just run around slapping all the coins, being like, this one, <laughs> this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Are we allowed to use the scale as many times as we want? Oh, I'm glad you asked that. Would you <gasps> make a perception check for me, Heath? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Out of turn? Yes. Thank you. Ooh. A perception check. 21. 21 oh. gravy. Everyone is so busy celebrating that you notice one of the three red gems on these scales loses its color as the coins disappear. Okay, so we get through, we have two more ways. Yeah. This is awesome. This is perfect because. Yeah, we still got this. We got two on the other side, and then we'll know. Yep, for sure. Cool. So it is the coin's turn. One of the coins in the dishes hops out. And runs over to Vardos and is going to give him a chomp. These things are so fucking annoying. Vardos, that is a eight to hit? No. Will not hit. Okay. Then another coin. There's sort of two coins still conscious at the far end of the arena. They've just sort of been hanging out. They managed to avoid the spell. One of them is going to come for a chomp. 
and give you a chomp, and one of them is going to go for Gravy and give him a chomp. So let's go with the Chooms attacker first. Mm. That's an 16 to hit. God damn it. That'll hit. That's going to do seven damage to you, and he is chomped onto you. God damn it. And Gravy, that is going to be a... I'd like to form a chain block. Blockchain, Nine. Bitcoin, block. Nine to hit. <laughs> Nine? Yeah. My armor class is 17, so I believe that does not hit. Then he does not. He just chomps onto your shin guard or something and sort of looks a little mournful as he does it. All right. I think that is the coins. So, Damien, you are up. And so I can still cast a spell while the concentration, we figured that out last time, right? Yeah, as long as it's not a concentration spell, you yeah. can cast it. Okay. Just knock out those four that we're dealing with. One, six, eight, and nine. Knock them out again. Yeah, that's what was my thought. I don't think I can knock all of them out. I think I can, like... I know that the other three are incapacitated in the scale thingy. I'm trying to see if I can get the Vardos and Achoom attached ones. Well, the Achoom attached one isn't one of the ones we need to weigh. No. No, I know, but I'm trying to see if I can get both of them without hurting both of you. And then if not, then I will maybe just go after the one. Oh, I can I can deal with mine. Wow. One successful bunny kick wrestling match and all of a sudden a Chum is a professional wrestler. <laughs> I, but it would be better to unconscious two possible biters. I'm going to scratch the shit out of this. <laughs> okay, it's pretty funny if these scales just keep constantly moving around because Bitcoin is very volatile. <laughs> 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 Audience members keep jumping to their deaths. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of them is on the phone with his friend who's on vacation explaining this is actually a great idea <laughs> okay so I have a I'm gonna ask a question when Despater was talking right they they leapt to life because of his voice you don't know okay and I am dressed as Despater still yep I am going to act like Despater <laughs> And try and intimidate the one that is attacking Vardos. Dear God. And I'm going to be like, hey, you're not playing your part. Get back in the scale. Can I just point out, by the rules of this game, if you walked over to one of the fucking things, (laughs) you could throw it to the other thing. Yep. Yeah, but I have a minus one strength. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Make a performance check for me, Morgan. So do I. I have a plus 10 performance. The minus performance. one is pretty minor on that. You get to roll yeah, a d20. But I, have a plus, but I have a plus 10 performance. Oh, I see. Rachel, would, Rachel, not Rachel, Anna. Yikes. Anna? Yes. Would yes. you look at the... <laughs> Anna, would you look at the golden <laughs> plaque on our mantelpiece and read what it says? Shenanigans above all. Now, of course, <laughs> that's in Latin. Shenanigans escar usum. But... <laughs> Morgan, I'm so sorry she interrupted you. And I'm even sorrier. I called her our friend's name instead of my yeah, wife's name. Yeah, the wrong woman's name. Yeah, that was And rough. it's being recorded and everything. Who I promise we aren't sleeping with. I'm just used to yelling at both of them. So, to the class again, should I have him get in the other scale? Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, I'm going to intimidate him to get into the other scale. Oh, this is an intimidation check. <gasps> Ooh. I did say intimidate. I did say, well... You literally, the word you said was intimidate. Don't gaslight me. <laughs> but first thing I said was I'm going to act like Despater and you my totally feature... You said as, intimidate. You said intimidate. And my feature as an actor gives me... Well, it's actually deception and performance. Which one do you want? I want an intimidation. If you're going to intimidate, I want an intimidation check, Morgan. I was going to give you performance, but you used the I word. Ten. Ten. Nope, not going to do it. God nope. damn it. He's like, come on, mother, you look tiny. No, wait, that was the voice of the mouse. Yeah. But a 14 performance. The coins have not said anything yet. The coin looks at you too late. The coin looks at you and is like, <laughs> ching, 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 ching. <laughs> Doesn't buy your shit. That's some racist shit, man. That is not what coins sound it, like. It just said ching. It's not racist. That's a coin noise. I feel like it's racist. I'm going to move five feet. Okay, I'm done. All right. Excellent. <laughs> Gravy, you are up. You could just kill that one and just not have another bitey guy in there. Real murdery. Real murdery, yeah. this particular challenge, Morgan. All right, so I might as well start by killing number three. Yeah. First of all, knocked out. Knocked out. Knocked out. <laughs> it might come back to life. Yeah, we don't want this game to get violent. Yeah, I don't know why I'm so <laughs> defensive about... Oh, it's uh, well, there is actually a reason why. Okay, sorry. 
Okay. I was like, why am I caring about this? Oh, there's a reason. Oh, do you know what that means? That means they're going to come back to life on their fucking turns. Ah, uh, fuck yeah, they are. All right. So I use my amazing sword to attack the coin in front of me. I believe that is coin number three. You pull Tyria lick my balls from its scabbard and you strike down at this coin. Roll that attack roll for me. That's a 15 to hit. Oh, that'll do it. Conk. Unconscious. Nice. All right. I will let you use your second attack actions to throw it, but I will tell you, I will not let you do a like running sweep thing that you've done earlier. I can't also move after this, or I can't. You do a can big sweep. move, but you can't do the like gather up and roll the d twenty thing that I've been doing. Okay, so for my second action as another attack, I'll throw the number three, like not into no, the thing, no, but right next to it. No. Just, just no, throw it further away so that when it further wakes away, up, yeah, yeah, please yeah. further away. You think? Oh, you think we don't even want to use it at all? Okay, no. no. There's a version where I think it's used. No, there isn't. I, I, what, what is this version? What, what do you have in mind? I don't see way, a way that's mathematically possible. Adding another one to the pool is not going to help us at this point. Yeah. yeah, just make him take two turns to get back to us. All right, so I, I throw him th that way, and then I move myself. I can move 30, right? Or I can dash 60, but you're saying... I already used... You can't dash, right. I can't dash, okay. Stand like right in front of the other scale because we can essentially just toss them to each other. Yeah, yeah. we can... We, I, we, you could... It'll be like an alley-oop thing. So I can move a lot closer to the scale. I move to there. I'm like... Now I'm like 10 feet from the, the scale. Fantastic. All right. Back to the top of the order. Achoom, you are up. Oh, and you're looking rough. You're down to half health. I know. I am. Whiskers are all askew. Time is running out for me. Because I keep on forgetting to <laughs> cast my fucking shield spell every time I get attacked. Okay. All right. <sighs> I'm going to bunny kick this guy with my claws. Okay, now this is quite a significantly further bunny kick. What? No, I'm not trying to get him anywhere. I'm just trying to get him oh, passed you just out, knock him out so he's not fucking killing me anymore. Unarmed strike. Uh, no cat's claws. Okay. I'm telling you guys, I could have just thrown that one closer to the thing. It could have been useful. Don't Worked it out. do it. <laughs> okay. 20 to hit. Oh, uh, that'll hit. This coin falls unconscious in your arms, but... Cool, I didn't need to roll damage. All because right, cool. you guys are the same size... You don't need to roll damage. Because you're the same size, he sort of collapses into you, and there's that, like, lovers in a dance moment between you and the coin. It's actually pretty cute. I'm going to bite him on the nose. I feel like a Achoom's not going to get a lot of chances to do an arm combat, so in my head... You do the Hollyuket. <laughs> the what? <laughs> and nice. uppercut the coin. The Hajuken, you mean? Or the Shoryuken? Okay. The dragon punch? First of all, I don't know what's happening. Right I don't know what's happening either. What the fuck? Are you talking about Street Fighter He's too? talking about different flavors of ramen very aggressively? No, I... Hey man, calm down. You're losing your chill you had earlier that I liked so much. No, I, I bap it. I give it a little... I say, scratch. My money don't jiggle jiggle. It falls. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Hey, everybody, we recorded this podcast six years ago when that was a topical <laughs> reference, just so you know. Quite literally a month ago. It was definitely not a month ago. I saw a video of it a month ago with that sound on TikTok. What, what are you on, fucking grandma's Instagram? It's fine. All right. TikTok! <laughs> Movement. Bonus actions. I'm going to move over here and get attacked by another fucking thing. So you're going to move on to the scale? Yeah, just to see if I can. Well... Nope, nope, nope. I'm say, not going to move on, on to the scale. I'm going to get to the side it. of it. There you go. The side of it. Okay. Ajum clambers over to the side of the scale. But that's good. You can like intimidate these coins to staying in with like cat stuff, right? No, we don't want to keep them in. We want to move on to the stuff. other side. Well, two of them we want to <laughs> well, keep two in. two of them, yeah. All right, Vardos, you are up. All right. I am going to bonk this one with my mace as well. Bonked? Roll that uh, hit for me. Ugh, 10. 10. That will not hit, actually. Oh, no. But you get two attacks. All right, yeah. I'm going to bonk him again. Or, or throw him. I can't throw him without bonking him, right? Or can I? Can I throw yeah, you him? can throw him without bonking him. You can throw him without bonking him. But That's an attack of opportunity. It's true. You can throw him past me, and I'll bonk him as he's being thrown through the air. You sure don't think that's won't. how it works. <laughs> you can't do that. But I could just bonk him again and then throw him, right? Yes. Yeah. Because I have the double attack. I mean, you can't bonk him and throw him in this turn because you have two attacks per action and you can't have a third action, but you can bonk him. What if you throw him so good that he bonks himself by landing? What if you golf club mace him to Heath? That's what I'm saying. Thank Ooh. you. There's so many cool 
things. I yeah. love the idea of a golf club. Here's what I'll tell you, Noah, because I love that. I love that flavor. <laughs> if you take disadvantage, oh. I will let you attempt to golf bonk this coin, and then you can do a strength check for how far he makes it. All right. Well, that just seems like a terrible idea. I'm just going to bonk him again. <laughs> <so they're laughs> <not coming out. laughs> Oh, Jesus, I got an eight on that one, too. So yeah, it doesn't once really again. Something about watching a Chum Haliukit, the other coin, has Hali truly... Are you saying Shoryuken? I, don't I think he's know saying Shoryuken, which is the dragon punch thing. I don't know what I'm saying, and I need you to support... I need you to hold me in the is light Is he saying right Aliu? <laughs> like, like basketball? Because I didn't throw him. I think he's trying to do Street Fighter 2, but it's not that close. I don't do sports, and I wasn't allowed that video game because it was violent, so... <laughs> We're, we're in fucking unknown territory. I need you to hold me in the light. I need you to hold the space. And none I think of you he's are doing it. I need I No one wouldn't him. do the fucking golf thing. So now he's just got a he's got a fucking you ninja. Made it, like, you made the odds that that was going to work worse than the odds of just whacking him. Why would I do it? But it would have been so fucking because it would have been sweet. Been That's cool, why. No, I would have missed. Fucking, I would have fucking yeah, missed. Exactly. I would have got an eight and something else. <laughs> it would have been funny. <laughs> And sweet <laughs> and cool, but it's fine. I forgive myself. I'm holding myself in the light because in the end, podcast listener, the only person you can rely on is the OG and that's you. Yeah. <laughs> what? d d minus. Anyways, this coin's ready to fucking rumble. All right, let's do it. This coin's going to take a bite at you, Vardas. Uh... It's tricky, I know. I was so caught up in my own trauma. <laughs> Eli, are you Googling show journey of right self-reliance? 17. So that'll hit. Now my armor class is 18. Oh, okay. Never mind. He, he, he has this moment of like the doom music going on. He's like, ah! and it still doesn't matter. Yeah. And he's going to try and run away, which means you're going to get an attack of opportunity. All right. I'm going to bonk him. Try to try, try and try and been him. working really well so far. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's a seven. Oh, no. He escapes. Why? Oh, he runs away from you. I have a plus five on this, y'all. <laughs> oh, no. Jeez. So you unlikely. are rolling terribly. I right. rolled a four, five, a three, and a two. That one I oh, threw away could have been useful right now. I might die in this <laughs> fight. Think it through. All right. All the unconscious coins wake up and hop to their feet. What? Yeah, baby. <laughs> the coins have feet? Yeah. Okay. Look at their adorable little pictures that I made them. They're pretty far away, though. They're not. It's really hard to see. Close. I just see like a smiley thing. Oh, do they have feet under there? Yeah, they okay. have feet under there. Got it. All right, Damien, I believe you are up. Okay. So. Can you send them to sleep again? I'm not an athletic kid. I'm not an athletic goth kid. Yeah, you probably don't know how to say short de buffin or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> Well, Show no, I play video games. Everyone yeah, makes fun of you in your God damn it. own D&D podcast where you're a god. It's a good thing a hurricane kick wasn't involved because that's just bananas. <laughs> Insensitive. So I am going... Tatsimaki Senpukeyaku. Hurricane Sandy, I'm a survivor. To move. That is 30 feet exactly. Excellent. So you move right next to the scales. Yep. I move right next to the scales and I scoop the pink one. Great. So you scoop one of the coins out of the scales. Yep. And I'm going to... Toss it to gravy. We're going to toss it to gravy. Gravy or not into the other thing? I, th I think we were allowed to just throw into the thing. We're throwing, I, as much as I love doing this alley -oop scenario. I feel like yes. Okay, I'll just toss it, it into the, the other thing. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do. You're going to roll a d20. I'm going to multiply it by three. Whatever you get, that's how far you throw this coin. Okay. Throw and each coin? A, well, I can't get a 20 because I have a minus one. So, like, I, we can get it pretty far. But. You can roll a natural 20 and you still get, you don't lose the, the negatives from oh. it. Okay. Oh, you're just grabbing one coin, throwing it towards me or maybe into the pot. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And I will say this. I will say this. If you roll a natural 20, Morgan, Bethesda. And right. Whatever your last name is. <laughs> you will hit gravy right in the chest. Right in the fucking chest. Why would you, you are, hit? He's why not are you trying to get gravy? It to gravy? You mean I'd hit him right in the hands? No, you're throwing it to gravy. You, no, no, you're throwing it into hands. the thing. He's throwing it into the thing. He very clearly said he was throwing it to no, gravy. No, where but have you been? It's we were recording this. I did, but then he convinced me. I think while you were figuring something yes. out to go for the scale. Okay, yeah. yes. well then yeah, yeah. Uh, you can all fuck yourselves because I was too busy <laughs> trying to figure out what a show, showboat Manutin is. Yeah. So now you're throwing it into the other scale. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just cool. D20 times three. Here we go. So mm. here's what's going to happen. You're going to grab one of these coins out of the bowls of these scales. You're going to throw it. You're going to roll a D20 times three. Anywhere between 50 and 70 as your result, you're going to make it into the other bowl of the scale, leaving us with two on one side and one on the other. Okay. Ooh, Here Morgan. Go. Do you want roll to roll that D20 three D20s or do you want to multiply one D20 by three? Ooh, Ooh Oh, you roll three D20s, obviously. Yeah. Three D20s, yeah, it's absolutely. The same probability. You're the same probability. Am I getting minus one on each D20 though? Um, Yes. Okay, I'll just do my strength check three times then. Yes. First one is a 15. 15. Ooh, you're going one at a time. Build it. Love it. Ooh, second one is a nine. A nine. Mm-hmm. Okay, wait, wait. Don't roll. Don't roll. Okay. You need... I don't think I can get it. You no. not get it? No, because I'm at 24. I would need to roll. Okay, so the only way to make it is a natural 20 right now. Right. Well, I'll get it pretty far. Yeah, you'll get it pretty far. Yeah. Yeah. Closer, the better. Oh, 19. So 18. 18. So 40. Ooh. Two feet. 42 feet. Thank you so much for doing that math for yep. me. This coin <laughs> pings off the edge and then clatters to the floor. But here's what I'm going to say. Because he pings off the edge, <gasps> he is no longer unconscious. No, he's incapacitated. He's no longer incapacitated. Why the would hit, that be? The hit woke him up. Broke the spell. If you're knocked out and you hit something, you become unknocked out? He wasn't knocked out. He was under a spell. He was charmed. Yeah. He was charmed. Okay, so he's no charmed. Charmed. Track. Yes. Yeah. Got it. All right. Gravy, you are up. All right. Will you allow the dash dash throw six and nine? I don't even think you need the dash dash. I think you can just do a, a regular dash with the strength check and throw these two coins that you know are among the heavy group into the scale. Hell yeah. Yeah, I actually uh, can just barely like get to them. Yes, I agree with that. All right, you know how this works. What am I rolling? You're rolling a d20. If you get a 10, you throw both of them in there. Less than a 10, you only throw one. Oh, big money. Less than a five, you throw a zero. That's 17. 17. Yes. <gasps> yes, the two coins go plinking in. The two coins that Gravy just threw into the scale sink lower. One of the gems on the scale loses its sheen and two coins up in the air disappear. There are two <sighs> coins and a single gem left. Oh, it's either six or nine. 69, nice. Okay, so <laughs> obviously we just get one of those back into the first one. Hell. I can totally catch. I can't throw, yes. but I can catch. Totally, right? <laughs> Standing right in front of the scale. I'll definitely let you try to catch. All right, Achum, you are up. Okay. Did I stay? I didn't stay put, damn it. No, you totally didn't. Should have stayed put. Oh, well. Okay, I am going to... I could charm them, I guess. Yeah. Actually, here's, here's, we could do another thing. This is another example of the thing I was talking about. We could just take like number seven, put it in the empty one, and then pull six or nine out of the side they're on right now, and either they balance or they don't, and then we'll know the answer. Right. But she'd have to kill seven first and then toss it. Seven's, I'm just saying seven's closer to the one we need to get something into. So it's slightly easier. Sure. I, or I could just try to incapacitate the two that are yeah. alive and in there so they don't move away from us and we can just get one. In. That could not hurt. That's a, yeah. Yes. We've, we, I think we got this either way. I would like to perform some mischief again. <laughs> God damn. You really can use this mischief thing a lot. Is it a cantrip? No. <laughs> no. No, this is just the second time I'm doing it. Achum wears many hats, but a lot of them are called mischief. Yeah, a lot of the hats are mischief. (gasps) Nathair's mischief. And for this one, I would like to pull out little Groucho Marx glasses and put them on. (laughs) Interesting. Because it's mischievous. Anna, can I say, I have given you Looney Tunes powers with the hats. I don't love glasses. Just You're getting really <laughs> close to abusing the I wear many hats. See, privileges. I was going video game style because that would be considered a hat in a lot of video games. Look, I'm just saying, ah. if we if we open the door to glasses, okay, there's a I dangerous... Okay, I take it off and I do like a little clown wig instead. That's great. I love that. Mischief. Pork pie hat, maybe? Roll a D4 for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. D4? we go. No whammies. That's a two. That's a two. Tell everybody what happens. Okay, so. Mischief managed, not. 
Bouquets of flowers appear all around. Each creature in the cube must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or be blinded until the start of my next turn as the flowers spray water in their faces. All right, I'm going to roll these two. They got to get 14s. And gravy is also in the thing. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Actually, you don't know. I don't want him to be blind. I want him to be charmed, but I don't want him to be blind. So never mind. Forget it. Okay. (laughs) One of them succeeds and one of them fails. So he's not unconscious, but he is blind. Okay. You mean charmed? Oh, I'm not blind though, right? No, you're not. I didn't. I didn't. He's not charmed. He's blind, right? You're right. Blinded. So yeah, now one of them is blind, but they are still both awake. All right, Vardas, it is your turn. Let's see. So after I go, then the coins go, right? That is correct. God damn it. So if I throw one of them in here or something like that, then it's going to like have a chance to get out before I go again. Mm -hmm. But we'll know, right? Yeah, toss number seven in there. Simple, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to go, well, I got to knock him out. Oh, you could make it to the other scale with 60 feet, couldn't you? Right. But if I if I run over here and throw and successfully throw the other one in, we're done. True. Yeah. All right. So Vardas, you're going to use your dash and the throwing action here. So you're going to sprint across. You're going to grab one of these coins, one of the two remaining culprits out of the bowl and toss it back behind you. This is a real easy one. Strength check of five. Give me a strength check of five. Damien standing with his hands up. I'm rolling right now. I <laughs> just six. Nice. You did it. Yeah. yeah. There's a, it's yes. a, oh, I wish I did know sports because I would describe a moment where someone fumbled something but then didn't uh, is what I would do <laughs> wait, right wait, now. I'll do, I'll, I'll do it. Here we go. Boink, 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 boink. boink, 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 boink oh, man. Oh, 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 just a oh, yeah. 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 Damien's like thinking he's helping, but he's not. You all wish you could watch us. <laughs> you don't wish you could watch us play because... This is a 97-hour play session, but trust me, <laughs> you, uh, you would have enjoyed that visual podcast, listener. And maybe if you give us enough money on Patreon, <gasps> we will... No, nope, I don't know why don't I'm even, saying no, no, don't even. Absolutely. Don't you're going to give, not you're the gonna give Anna the power to summon frogs in front of everyone? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't know why I thought that's... If, if no, you give us enough idea. money, I'll be so rich that I'll come up with better ideas than I currently <laughs> have had. All right, so... The two coins waver in perfect equality for just a moment. Then, slowly, one of the sides of the scale shifts to become heavier. The other one disappears. The coin that is heavier glows with a golden light and transforms into Despater, who says, First challenge passed. Let's hear it for him. And the crowd goes wild. Damien still dressed as the spader in front of him. <laughs> hey, wait a sec. Who are you? What is that stage looking thing at the bottom? Well, let me see. That is mm. a stage. Just a stage. Nailed it. Just a different stage. Just is that a different DJ stage. board? Somebody DJing? That's where Morgan is. <laughs> Morgan's got <laughs> two zooms. We put one here at the front where the audience is, and then he's got one at the board. And there's a stoned teenager asking him how he does his job. It's just like all our other shows. I love it. The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2023. All rights reserved.